the uh, SEC West dudes, this is Coon Neck um, talking about the Ole Miss LSU game coming up this weekend down in uh, Death Valley, Tiger Stadium, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Um, not many good things to say coming from the Ole Miss side. If anybody caught the Tennessee game last week, which I think I told you was going to be embarrassing. It was. It was. I uh, didn't even watch the second half. It was ridiculous. Um, the uh, quarterback prodigy Mazzoli, you know, you've had 10 games to get your ass in gear and you haven't done it. So, you know, I've been giving you the benefit of the doubt saying receivers have been dropping the ball and, you know, you're putting it right where it needs to be, which, you know, most of the time that's the case. But, you know, if you're not gelling with your team by now, you're not going to gel. Sorry, dude. Great experiment. It didn't work. Um, Ole Miss sporting a 4-6 and six record right now and a uh, outstanding 1-5 and five record in the SEC. Uh, one of those great years to be an Ole Miss Rebel. Um, feel like a baseball thing going on, you know. One of my boys down in Louisiana, Kevin Fayard, uh, mentions Omaha every time he wants to talk about Ole Miss. Um, this year it'll be evident in football. When it comes to bowl season, Ole Miss at home again. Don't know what to say, man. Um, we're going into Baton Rouge, 92,000 rabid, retarded, coon ass, Tiger fans, maybe a smattering of Ole Miss fans. The only reason we're going to go is for the party, you know. Uh, it's a great place to go. Uh, I hope to get down there just to eat all of Kevin's food because uh, he's a hell of a chef. You know, great things that on the menu, very hospitable when it comes to tailgating. But when it comes down to kickoff, you better get your Ole Miss gear away from the LSU people because they're all serious. They're sporting a 10-1 record. Um, only loss they have is to Auburn. Uh, I don't know if LSU fans have, I don't know, wishful thinking that Cam Newton's going to be disqualified and Auburn's going to have to give up that game. That way LSU's undefeated and then they go to the Dome in Georgia, try to win the SEC championship versus South Carolina. But, you know, that's that's Willy Wonka stuff right now. Not going to happen. Um, so, LSU just looking to uh, knock Ole Miss off, you know, after losing, what, four of the last five, I think, LSU has lost to Ole Miss. So, you know, it's cyclical. Everything comes around. It goes around, I guess. It just sucks to be an Ole Miss guy. So, I know you expected me to. Go Rebels, we're going to beat LSU! Not happen. Sorry. So, my prediction this week, Ole Miss goes to Baton Rouge. Uh, they pretty much get scared to death. And they show their ass like they have all season. And I say LSU is going to put 40 points on the Rebels. And I think Ole Miss is going to possibly get maybe 10 points. 42 to 10 LSU will beat Ole Miss. Ole Miss will move to 4 and 7 on the year and they get ready for the Egg Bowl and man, I just can't wait for that little preview coming up. So whatever. Uh for SEC West dudes, I'm Coon Neck, uh a very depressed rebel. Talk to you next week.